Hello everyone, my name is Elle and welcome back to Once Upon a Beauty Time. So today I have for you a Priceline haul. Now my package finally arrived at my front door today. It took them long enough. So this is stuff from the 40% off cosmetic sale that they had last week. I'm sorry that this is a little bit late, but Priceline clearly need to get their shit together and pump out the orders a little bit faster. But I wanted to show you nonetheless what I purchased and yeah, let's just get stuck straight in. To it. And the first thing that I purchased is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in Natural. This is a constant repurchase for me. I don't actually use it to set my face though. I actually use to blend down my neck because my body is so freaking pale that my face will never match my neck. It's just something I've had to come to terms with. I also picked up two of the models prefer uh, mineral powder soft touch I've heard so much about these guys I finally decided to pick some up and see what all the hype was about I picked up two shades I've got photo ready and soft focus I think soft focus is kind of like the cult one but it looks more like a beigey color but these if you don't know they're like a light reflecting sort of powder so that'll be interesting to see how that goes and hopefully it'll give me a beautiful glow to my face and then photo ready so it's a little bit more of like a, a pinky sort of tinge hopefully it's not too dark either oh no that's quite nice I don't know if I'd use that to set my whole face, but it might be nice, you know, those days when you're blushing your contour and your highlight, all of that's getting a little bit too crazy. Um, this might be nice to kind of blend it all out and buff it together, make it just look super nice and finished. Now with a lot of these, pretty much all of these actually, I wasn't really sure on shades. I've got a lot of lip products, uh, which I picked up um, and you'll be seeing in a moment. And I never really swatched them or tried them out in store. I just knew that I wanted to grab a whole bunch of things that I've never tried before. So I tried to go off online swatches and what other YouTubers or bloggers had recommended to pick up. Uh, so hopefully uh, they're all okay. The next thing is another powder. Now this one is by Physicians Formula. The viewer actually recommended this to me under my pale skin powders video. She said that it's just really, really light in terms of its color especially, so that definitely uh, hit a winner in my eyes. But this is their Mineral Wear uh, Correcting Powder. Three-in-one corrector primer and powder. And it's in the shade Creamy Natural. Yeah, I've never really tried anything from Physicians Formula before because it all looks kind of cheap and tacky. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. I just, I've never really been drawn to it, especially because it's a little bit more expensive as well. But you get the powder, which is like this. Oh, it's getting a little bit blown out by camera. But it's a couple of different colors swirled together to help to correct face. Oh wow, it is really light. A little bit chalky. That's okay though. Wow. I don't know. Oh, you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> I suck at swatches. But it's just there. It, yeah, it's really pale. Perfect. I wonder what this is like at oil control. Um, and it is a compact, so it does come with a mirror and there's a little brush in here as well. This brush, though, I'm not digging at all. It's super coarse. Like, super duper rough. Ugh, yeah, no, and that color is just not, not doing it for me. Um, so I might just toss that guy. Um, but no, it'll be interesting to see how the powder goes, um, especially at oil control, because I have got combination skin. I also picked up two mascaras, one that is a holy grail for me, and the other one, which is a cult product. Uh, so this is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara. This is one of my all-time favorite drugstore or affordable um, mascaras ever. I just love the wand. I love the formula. It gets better with age as well. Um, and yeah, it's just something that I always fall back on and it's a staple in my collection no matter how many mascaras I have and then the other one that I picked up is the L'Oreal telescopic uh, carbon black mascara now there's so many versions of this telescopic mascara I didn't even know which one I was supposed to pick up but Crystal Conti here on YouTube or she used to be Capella Glam she absolutely raves about this mascara it's one of her favorites and her lashes always look exquisite when she pops it on so hopefully my lashes can look something like hers with this mascara so I'm super excited to try that guy out hopefully it's the right one I don't know we'll find out um, but yeah really excited to give that guy a go and the rest of the things are all lip products 
again, I had no idea about shades, so I really just went off online swatches and things like that. So hopefully they turn out okay, because I don't really know what to expect. Um, but the first things that I purchased was a couple of lip liners. Uh, these are the Rimmel Lasting Finish, I think 1000 Kisses? Yeah, 1000 Kisses lip liners. I picked up three shades. So I have... Uh, da, 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 Indian pink, like a pinky red sort of shade. I then got Cherry Kiss. That is like a really nice deep burgundy color. And then I also picked a uh, natural, sort of like a brownie mauvey nude color there. I then picked up three of the Maybelline Color Drama lipsticks, lip liners, I don't know what these are, but I remember when these came out, I think it was like a year ago, I'm so late to the bandwagon on so many products, um, but everyone just raved about these, so I'm super excited to see how they go. Sorry, the postman just came, so I'm hopefully not in too much of a different position. The first shade that I picked up is 140 Minimalist. It's like a medium kind of pink. It's kind of bright but kind of nude. Um, it's very much an L colour. It reminds me a lot of the Rimmel uh, Kate Moss Lasting Finish Lipstick in 103 which used to be one of my all-time favourite lipsticks. Next colour I picked up is 110 Pink So Chic. Ooh, that's really nice. It's kind of like a purpley berry burgundy kind of colour. Just that second one there. And then the last one I picked up is 310 very much. So this kind of looks similar, but it's got a kind of more purpley tones to it. A little bit darker, just that end one there. So that's really nice. They just glide on these guys. So really interested to see how they go and hopefully they're long lasting as well. I also picked up two of the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Lip Colors. Uh, now I've tried one of these and I was really, really impressed. So they're one of those two-step lip uh, combo kind of things and I picked up the shade 559 Plum Berry. It has like a glitter through it, like a silver glitter. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, you can't really see it. It's kind of like a more of a metallic-y sort of finish. Well, it's still a nice colour nonetheless. It's just this guy here and you can see it's got that really nice glossy sort of texture. Um, but these do dry down um, to like a tacky matte and then you pop the... Um, shine balm thing and that just helps to lock in all the color as well and then i also picked up uh 598 forever fawn it's kind of like a dusty rosy brownie nudie movie <laughs> sort of shade um it's just that one up the top there that's actually quite nice now i saw again crystal raving about these in one of her videos and it's the maybelline superstay uh, 14 hour lipstick. It's in the shade Till Move Do Us Part. Don't know what was happening there with the accent, but this is a lot more brown tone than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's coming off a little bit more pinky on camera, um, but it's like kind of like a dark brownie mauve. Um, no, that might be nicer, but the consistency of it is really nice. It smells really beautiful as well. Kind of like a sweet lolly kind of smell. Hopefully I didn't get any on my nose then. I thought I picked up two of these, but I picked up this one instead. This is the Maybelline Superstay but 24 hour color. I don't know, one's long and one's short. One's 14 hours, one's 24 hours. I don't know what the difference is. This is in the shade 025 Keep Up The Flame. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, that is beautiful. It's like a really deep red uh, burgundy. It's coming off a little bit brighter on camera, but that is stunning. It's probably the same concept as well, so it dries down to be a little bit more of like a tacky matte, and then you pop on the balm to lock in color and keep it um, a little bit more moisturizing as well, but that is just so opaque. Okay, I'm very excited to try that guy out. <laughs> Alright, so I may as well just chuck in quickly what uh, the delivery man just came to my door with. Uh, very, very exciting. This is a little bit of a recent obsession of mine, and uh, it is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks. They are 
there's something else. I quite possibly think that they are my favourite liquid lipstick formula of all time. It's one of the Christmas limited edition colours, but I found it on Beginning Boutique, which how incredible is this delivery bag? I'm all over this. This is Doll Parts. Now, when I saw Jeffree Star and Jay Kisser watch these on Jeffree Star's YouTube channel, it looked really, really bright pink on their lips. But when I swatched this at Windsor Smith the other week, it's kind of like a dusty rose sort of color on me, which I am all about. It's just that N1 uh, just there and I'm obsessed. Beautiful, so that comes to the end of my Priceline slash Jeffree Star haul. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely let me know down in the comments below what you purchased in the Priceline 40% off sale. I'd be so interested to find out any of your top hits or your misses uh, so then I know what to grab next time when I'm in Priceline as well. Be sure to give this video a double thumbs up if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Holy shit. Imagine tripping out to that. Woof.